It's about you. It's about each other. It's about together we will. That's what it's about. When you think of football athletes, you think of the rush of scoring the game-winning touchdown, or the prestige of being the starting quarterback, or maybe even coming up with the big interception. But what most don't think about is the amount of time put in each week prior to kickoff. Studying film can take up so much time out of an athlete's week that it can almost be considered an extra class. It's not just what people think it is. It's just go out there and play a game. You know, it's a lot of preparation that goes into, like Coach Brock always says, it's a process. It's six days, 21 hours, and it really is. If you go into a test studying for 20 minutes, you're not going to do very well. It's the same with football. If you go, if you watch a film one or two times, it, it's, you're not going to recall when you're out on the field and, in, and instincts keep kick in. Here's where it all happens. Just a room with some tables, some chairs, and a projector. But all that matters to these athletes is that they study enough to get a leg up on their competition. I'm looking for the small details. Maybe like a different foot is up every time you run a certain play. How many times the quarterback rubs his towel before the ball is snapped. Uh, how the player turns his head on certain plays. How people block. It's definitely a big time commitment. It's, it's more than one class, it's about two or three extra classes on top of my regular school day. So it's definitely a challenge I look forward to every day I get up. Good players play fast and film study and, and recognizing tendencies and, and understanding what's likely going to happen helps you play faster. You know, you become a reactionary player. When you know it's coming, you know what they do out of this formation, you know what they do in this down and distance, you know how a player plays. Um, you know, I think it gives you an advantage in terms of, of being able to line up and be successful. The NCAA limits college teams to 20 hours of mandatory activity per week. The other 148 hours are given to the athletes to do with what they wish. To some, these are the hours that make all the difference. Nina Raspa, UD News.